Hey everybody, welcome to another video. In this video, you would just watched a short. Um, probably you clicked the link below to see exactly what's going on here. And I'm gonna show you. So we've all seen that video online that's got like 30 million views of a guy seemingly starting a fire with a lemon. Um, this is completely bogus. It's not at all what it seems. There's always a hidden battery somewhere. In my case, let me show you here. All right, welcome to my setup. Those of you who watched the short, some of you may have cleverly noticed these wires back here or an additional wire here and under here. I've got my negatives going through and out there connecting to this nail there. And then I got over here my positive that I just hid behind the battery and wrapped it onto this copper core here. So all of this was taped behind the scene and I did a clean cut trying to make it as less obvious as possible that that what was going on and duct taped out of sight. I used two batteries because you lose quite a bit of, of current. You lose a little power oomph um, and a little voltage going through a lemon and across here. I do not need you anymore so I can pull that apart. But let me be clear. Um, a lemon does produce power. However, it's like one volt. Um, it is not significant enough to do anything but run a calculator. Um, it, it cannot ignite steel wool. It just does not produce the power. I know there's a lot of fanboys out there that claim that that one fella did it legit and he made enough power with just a lemon to light a fire. The guy was concealing a battery. He actually carved out the bottom of the lemon and connected it through. And I don't know why. It, it does produce power, but not enough as you see here. Um, it is not enough to, to ignite steel wool. Um, it will produce something like one volt. I do have a voltage checker here, just handy. Go over here, took this fella here. It says low right now, can't read anything. But take my positive and positive and connect it up to my battery here. It should give me the voltage that's correct for what it takes to, to light up a battery. Of course, I need to put it on the right setting here. That's 20 volts. Point. Oh, we got 18 volts because I've combined the two batteries, right? So I've got two, a little more current, a little more oomph, and that is what's doing the work. But over here, let's check out this guy. Can we even get one volt off of this? I kind of doubt it. Actually, I'm certain that we might... Okay, we got 1.8 volts. That's the most I have ever seen this little setup do, but it does not have any amperage. It cannot carry enough power to ignite the steel wool. You need more than just voltage, you need the amperage that goes along with a 9 volt battery. But this will power a calculator. We get 1.8, 1.7 volts out of a lemon and copper and zinc. Um, that's just how a battery works. And uh, But unfortunately a lemon cannot produce enough power. You would need to stack up 9 of these lemons together plus to get the current you need, the amperage you need to ignite the steel wool, you would need around 11 to 12,000 of these. So voltage is not what kills, it's the, what comes with the voltage that does. So that is what we're relying on to ignite the steel wool. Um, so there you go. If you want a survival tactic, one of these works great. Um, even one battery it does have some weight to it, so you ultralight nerds won't want this, but it is, it's what's igniting the steel wool. Not, not, the, not the lemon. The lemon is a cute trick, but it, it is not producing enough power. To do that. I had a little ferrod shavings in there, clearly. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me for this parlor trick. It's not anything close to survival related. No one's going to take a lemon with them out to, to start a fire. Um, anyway, love your faces and we'll see you on the next one. I don't know why I stomped. Just because. <laughs>